week 11 of the National Football League. And our focus is on the Lions' leader at quarterback. He's coming off a quality showing last week. Well over 300 yards in that one. It's the Lions and the Giants. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 23. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the Detroit Lions and the New York Giants. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come in playing some decent football, five and three in their last eight games. In the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they come in off another victory a weekend ago. That ran their win streak up to seven now. And I think that win last week established them as Super Bowl front runners. They're playing with confidence and so here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And leading them out is their fifth-year quarterback. His game last week reminded me of the old song, Accentuate the Positive. That's about, that's about all he did, right? Yeah. Three touchdown passes, over 300 yards in the air. Receivers happy. If and they got the win. Got the win. If you're running back that likes to catch passes, they're happy as well. Big-time game. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. The numbers for him from a week ago. Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. This defense for the Giants, they were fantastic a week ago in that win over Houston. It's a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Ready? Swift going to try up the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Looking to throw on second down. Boucher. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and Intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back to the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. After a week's worth of preparation, probably not prepared for this. You throw the pick six, and now you're behind the eight ball here. See if they can rally first and ten. Throwing after the interception, Boucher. And this one into the hands of D.J. Sharp. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Nice his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. On play action, Boucher. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. 
Now this looks like a roughing call. So roughing the passer, and this is a unit, Charles. They hold their breath every time they see their quarterback go down and get hit like that. Yeah, they understand how important these last couple of months are for this team. They can still afford to have anything happen to him if they want to accomplish their goals. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again. Boucher. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of biting him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Off the play fake. Boucher. This one complete to Devin Funches. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 23. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. From the gun, here's Swift. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Looking to throw. Boucher. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Credit that to the former Georgia Bulldog, Aziz Ojolari getting in there to bring him down. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here, picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves. Certainly paying dividends of what we've seen so far. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Back to throw. Boucher. He's got this to Williams complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there, a 22. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. He was brought down there by Julian Love. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Boucher to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass.
The Lions offense set to take over. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach is talking to his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe something to press it a little bit. This might be the case. That pass caught. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. And now the throw taken in by Chark. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They're able to convert with a gain of four. That's about what you would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset, and I guarantee you, it started in the offseason. Third down's important to them. They find a way to pick him up with a very good clip. That one complete. He finds Shark. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Patrick Owasso, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. On the handoff, this is Swift. Some nifty running, but it only gets him to the 45. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Looking to throw, Boucher. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Boucher looking middle, and that's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. A well-executed 22-yard gain. throw Boucher that one to the sideline and a nice catch there he stays in bounds but a penalty marker is down as well that's on the tackle Panay Sewell still first down they're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty looking to throw Boucher and this one complete right side to Funches 
You gotta give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They'll look to throw again. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Again, he'll drop the throw. That's once again complete to Chark. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Back to throw again. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Well, a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, every play certainly counts at this stage of the game, but after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. The strong windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. They run out of the gun with Swift. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. They call it again a 19, and it moves the chains. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 47. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Second down, Swift. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, 34. Finding Williams on the check down. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be fourth down.
first and ten. Boucher. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been any. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. To throw on third down, Boucher. Man open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Here's a handoff to Swift. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. They're not going through it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Back to throw. Boucher. And he's got it. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set him up for the first and goal. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Williams is in for a Lions touchdown. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Dan Campbell makes the call. His guys will go for two here. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. So the Lion offense staying on the field as they're going to try for two. They'll try and throw for it. It's caught at the one. And in the third quarter here, they were trying to push that to a three-point game, but instead it'll stay at one. And I'm a big proponent of action. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now it's... the ground and Swift to start the drive and he'll take this one up to about the 13 call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down they'll run here with Swift and he'll get this one up to about his 14 just a one yard pick up there and it's going to make it third down at six they are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains on third down Boucher, he's got this complete to Williams. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. 
And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he gets this one just shy of the 30 down at the 39. That's a game of 10 for the Lions and a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. He found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Off play action, Boucher. Funches has it complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. He was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice gain. And really an excellent run. Sidestepping tacklers on his way to a pickup of eight. To throw on second down. Boucher firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they have one. They were just unable to complete the pass. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. Looking to throw. Boucher looking for Funches, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Blake Martinez. And the Giants are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So this offense moving the ball well, trying to open up a two-score lead here in the third quarter, but now potentially a play. The so here are the Lions to take over. They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight. Here's Swift. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now it's Swift. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. It's caught. Mitchell. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Running is swift. And he takes this one in for a lion's touchdown. DeAndre Swift, his 16th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Lions are able to... Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is... 
do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but it's still a one possession game. This one not fully over yet. Second down, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Back to throw. Boucher. It's caught by Bunches. And getting this chest shot in midfield is spot on the Philadelphia. Get it in there, and the Lions have a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now a carry for Swift. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Looking to throw. Boucher. Open man is Quintez Cephas. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. It's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So from the 36 now, first and ten. Boucher. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone is hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. And he'll be open at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up the down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? To throw on third down, Boucher. Shark's got it, left side. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 19. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Let's go! So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Just a couple yards there down to the 17. 
Uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Looking to throw on second down. Boucher, open man right side is Shark. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Looking to throw, Boucher. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier McKinney. And the Giants are right back in this football game. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they enjoy this fourth quarter lead starting out first and ten now following the missed field goal. the middle they go. Swift. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 129 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They'll run on first down. Swift, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but works some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit out and running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. On second down, Williams. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now a handoff up the middle. Swift. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Up the middle they go. Swift, and he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Now a handoff up the middle. Swift. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now we give up the middle to Williams. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring it home. This was just an excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed to stop them. Yeah, Detroit back in possession of the football. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. That 
Owen looks like he'll throw here. The quick slam caught. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest. And this will be caught. We'll forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. So for the Lions, the great run they've been on continues as they move to 9-1 now. And now they'll have the short week ahead as they'll host their annual Thanksgiving Day game on Thursday. Meanwhile, for the Giants, it's a loss that'll drop them back to 500 through 10 games. And they'll have a quick turnaround as they're back in action Thursday afternoon at around 3.30 Eastern for the traditional Thanksgiving Day game in Dallas.